Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to make a developer product webhook that will tie into Discord. Just like to remind you that uh, this will be in the description in the Discord. Join the Discord and go to the free model section. Uh, it will be placed in there. Right, to begin with, uh, install that system that I've just shown you in Discord. Uh, install it, and I'll show you from here. So GUI is going into start. GUI, control U, and script is going into service script service, control U. Now, in this script, first of all, we need the product ID. So, to make a product, you go to game settings, then you go to monetization, and then you create your developer product here. Uh, you can set it to whatever, but you'll need this product ID and your price. So, now you got that. We can paste that product ID into that section of the script, as we can see. Uh, if we can see in this bit, we need to change the Robux amount. So obviously it is one Robux, so we keep it as ROM Robux. Then on the screen GUI, we need to open that script and paste in that product ID again into this section. There's comments on most pieces that need changing, so it's dead easy to change. Um, this is your embed, um, but first we need to make a Discord webhook. We need a proxy because robots banned, uh, sorry, Discord banned robots webhooks. So to get a webhook, we go into our Discord server, go to integrations, go to webhooks, new webhook, copy webhook. Uh, you can change the name and profile picture, but for uh, this video, I'm not going to. Um, then we can paste it in here, we want to delete from here, get rid of the HTTPS discord.com.gg. Now that we've got that, we've got all the webhook installed, and this will be perfectly fine. We can close that, we can close that, we can go to game settings, and we can come into security, make sure HTTP requests are on. Then we can load up the game, we can let it load. Um, I just want to show you now. Um, there's nothing else in here. This was posted at 2.56. This is a preview of what the product looks like. So if we buy a Le Game Pass, as you can see, Game Pass port, as you can see, um, new developer product, Joseph of Office 6, so this is your username, has purchased a product worth one Robux. Product purchased. Uh, this was the code of the developer product. You can change this, but uh, at the moment I've decided to keep it as IDs because it's helpful for searching. Um, then it gives you the user ID of the person who's bought the product. Anyway, I think this is a really good, uh, decent little script for your Roblox games. Um, I'll just go through the code with you uh, now. This is your webhook URL. Uh, this is the HTTP service. We don't need to touch this, and we don't need to touch the Marketplace service. Product ID is just the developer ID. So this gets your function of player. Uh, as you can see, we need it for player.name, but we don't need it for our user ID how, as it's been in the prompt purchase. If a purchase, then it does all of this. As you can see, uh, new developer. So you can change this title. So this changes, you can change it. This is the amount of Robux. We, we don't need this, but uh, it makes the text look nicer. Uh, this is the colour of the box embed, so we can go on Disco Hook uh, to look at different colours and then we paste that in. This is our fields, so inline is pretty much to make sure that this is on this side, this is on this side, as we can see. Uh, this is our product purchase, and then the ID, and this is the name user ID. Um, and then end end. This end is for ending that. Uh, this end is for ending this function, and this end is for ending this function. These don't have end functions because they're not functions. Uh, quickly go through the local script. Um, this is the marketplace service, so same as in that script. Uh, if they click the button, then it gives a prompt of the uh, would you like to purchase this and then prompt purchase game.players.localplayer so this grabs all the players in the game 
programs the player that clicked it and then uh, pastes the ID of whatever the developer product that they're meant to be purchasing is. Uh, I think it's a nice decent little script. Uh, one thing to point out, make sure that product ID is the same as uh, this ID here, otherwise it will not work and it will break. If you do have any errors with this, please let me know. Um, join the Discord below and I'll talk you through it with our ticket system. But anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.